Do you find that, um, as you were saying over the years, you've mellowed, we compared you to a fine bottle of wine, perhaps a bottle of scotch would be more appropriate. Perhaps. But do you find that your choice of roles has, has altered? Uh, no, as a matter of fact, my choice of roles has gone back to what I started to originally get cast as. Um, I didn't want to play, you know, after a while you don't want to play the big woman and the, and the, you know, the big woman with the heart of gold or the da 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 da. I wanted to play more uh, different women. And now I've realized that that's what I should be playing because there's not a lot of women pl who can play those kinds of things. And they're closer to me. I, when I did Little Foxes uh, last year, I was absolutely uncomfortable in. I don't know if you know that play, but she's a sort of a bitch, a Jones Collinsy kind of, you know, upper crust. A vamp. Yeah, and it. I, I always wanted to play that role, and then when I started to play it, I realized who cares about these kind of people, you know? They're on television all the time. Who cares about them? But I am more interested in. Um, I guess you might say ordinary people. If, if, if it's going to be put in a certain way, as opposed to people with a lot of artifice, because we're filled with that now. And so I prefer to play them. They have more levels. Um, Is it harder to play an ordinary person? No. Well, not, not for me. Uh, it's easier. I like playing people who, who don't have very good perception. I, I know that sounds odd, but they usually say and do much more miraculous things. You know, we're in a period of self-help psychology, you know, everyone's taking lessons, even know how to go to the bathroom. And it's like those people, a lot of those types of people that I play, not only do they not know about psychology, they think it's bunk. And, and in fact, it would probably help them a bit of psychiatric help sometimes. So everything they do is, uh, not everything, but I mean the certain kinds of characters that I play come purely from here. <laughs> not, not just um, analyzing everything and talking. They come purely out this way. And um, that's just much more interesting. Are you afraid of failing? Um, no, because I've failed a lot of times. No, I'm not afraid of failing at all, because I the last two years haven't exactly been too swift. Um, hmm. Perhaps you're afraid of failing? I'm, no, I, it's the other way around. I'm afraid of succeeding. Why? Um, I don't know. I, I think partly it's because you have to leave too many things behind, or it's just a lot easier. Uh, I always do the best I can do in anything I do, but I have noticed that when big chances come along, I tend to turn them down. I've noticed that. But, uh, and then I justify it by saying I want to be in a small world. But I. I don't know, I think about it a lot, but the thing is I still do like just being a person at home, too. And I, I think it would, be, it would frighten me to be successful.